Hi, I'm Jessie, a licensed registered nurse, and I'm here today to teach you how to take a pulse. Pulse is an external measure of your heartbeat. It's considered one of your vital signs because your heart is one of your vital organs. Normal heart rate for a healthy adult is about 60 to 100 beats per minute. For a child under the age of 12, it's gonna be about 80 to 110, and for a newborn, it will be even higher, 120 to 160. So why would you wanna take a pulse? Well, you may just be curious, but it's also a good idea to know your baseline, what is normal for you. You may wanna measure your heart rate while you're exercising as well to make sure you're getting your heart rate up. Now, it's important to note that athletes or people who are really fit may have a lower resting heart rate because their heart is so strong. There are multiple places on the body where you can take a pulse. The easiest are the radial, which is the inside of the wrist, and the carotid, which is the side of the neck. To take a pulse, you're gonna to wanna to use your middle and index fingers. Do not use your thumb. Your thumb actually has a pulse and can interfere with your ability to count the pulse in those places. So on your wrist, you're gonna place your fingers lightly on the inside part of your wrist and move them around until you'll feel that pulsing sensation under your fingers. For your carotid, again, the side of your neck, it should be either side of your throat and you'll feel that pulsing sensation when you get it in the right place. You can count for 60 seconds, probably best to use a clock, and that's how you'll get your heart rate. If you can't find your pulse, don't worry. If you're able to look for it, you definitely have one. Thanks for watching this health series. Be sure to consult a physician to find out what's best for you. For more information, you can check out the links around me. And if you have any video requests, you can shoot an email to requests at mahalo.com. This video was for educational purposes only and was not intended to be a substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. If you think you have a medical emergency, please call your doctor or dial 911 immediately.